Now, making the biofiller. These are protocols that are used in facial aesthetics. This is when we want to heat the plasma, so now we're going to include the bioheat technology within these uh, steps, and there's a little bit more to do here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to centrifuge at 700 RCF for eight minutes in the white tubes only, no red tubes here. Then we're going to take out the upper layer with an 18 gauge needle, remove roughly two mLs okay, of the liquid PPP. Then we're going to place uh, the blue caps on the syringes and we're going to place it in the bioheat device for 10 minutes at 75 degrees Celsius. The remaining tubes that still have the lids on, we're going to place in the biocool device and we're going to show you what that is. That's utilized to prevent clotting. So if it stays at the temperature of the biocool, it's actually designed purposely to keep uh, the liquid PRF uh, from clotting and that'll basically double the uh, working properties of a liquid PRF. After the 10 minutes of heating, that PPP layer turns into what we call albumin gel and you're going to see the consistency, it's different. We're going to then take the albumin gel and place it into the biocool for one to two minutes and that's basically just to cool it. And then from there, we're going to take uh, the remaining 0.5 to 1 ml CPRF that we've previously seen and then we're going to mix them together. The advantage of doing it this way is that we have the albumin gel and this has the extended working properties as we saw in chapter seven. So this will last four to six months. And we combine that with the liquid CPRF, the very rich layer of cells that we saw in chapter three. And thereafter, we're ready to inject uh, and use it as a biofiller, okay? So let's go over the protocol here. So as I mentioned, the first step is we're going to draw the upper 1.5 to two mLs of this liquid. So this is the first step. We're gonna take this off, okay? You got about you know 1.5 to two cc's there. I'm gonna do two tubes here. So we're gonna do two bioheat. Okay, so we're gonna draw this up. And then from there, we're going to then place this into the bioheat. Okay, always remember that these two tubes are then going to go into the biocool. And that is simply to extend the working properties uh, of this device. So that's uh, of the liquid platelet-rich fibrin. Now, the blue caps, for those that have never seen these before, all that they're meant for is to basically prevent the liquid PRF from uh, uh, soaking or, or running out into the bioheat device. So these little blue things here, when you attach them, okay, it's just a little end. Now the liquid cannot go out. And then we're going to place that into the middle layer of the bioheat device. And that's set at 75 degrees Celsius, right? And that's going to run for 10 minutes. So again, there's a little blue end. We're going to pull that out. We're going to place it in the bioheat. Away it goes. Okay, and there it is. Okay. When this is done, now we have the bioheat. Okay, look at the, the texture. It's uh, quite different then liquid platelet-rich fibrin, it's gonna go directly uh, into that area. So anytime we have any kind of bioheat, so I've drawn four here, you always have to cool it because it's 75 degrees Celsius. If you mix that with liquid platelet-rich fibrin, it will actually destroy the cells. Now with the remaining, so now the top two mLs have been taken out. Now we're gonna pop the lids of this and we're gonna take that rich CPRF layer. So in this video here, you're gonna see we're going to draw up the liquid as much as we can to that buffy coat layer. We're gonna draw about one cc, and that's where most of the cells and growth factors are gonna be. And then we're gonna take uh, this female, female lure lock. This is gonna be pulled out. We're gonna remove the needle here, and we're gonna mix the albumin gel with the liquid PRF, okay? And that's how we're gonna create the alb PRF which stands for albumin gel and liquid PRF, or we also just refer to it very simply as EPRF for extended PRF. And that's what we're gonna inject as a facial filler. Okay, so here, again, for those that have never seen this, we're just gonna mix back and forth both of these devices. And usually you need to mix it probably 10 times back and forth. But the nice thing about it is if you do have a little bit of the red blood cells, you can see the colors changing.
Okay, so you can now see that it's getting mixed and we just keep going back and forth nice and gently a few times and then it's ready to be injected. Okay? After that, you're going to put uh, whatever gauge needle you want to inject. So typically we recommend 25 to 27 gauge and then you're ready to do a biofiller injection. Okay? So that's how that technique there is designed. Again, it's going to go through the mixing step again here. So lid comes off, just to recap again, we're going to take the CPRF layer, so that's the rich layer here, and there's a little bit of red blood cells there. Once that is done, we're then going to take the female to female lure lock, okay, and this female to female lure lock now is going to be opened, and we're going to connect it both to the albumin gel as well as the liquid PRF. Okay, so here we're going to remove the needle, and now the liquid PRF, that's the liquid CPRF from the concentrated portion at the Buffy coat, is going to be attached on one side. We're going to go to the BioCool, and I'm pulling out here the albumin gel, which has now been cooled. So now it's down to a normal temperature, and then they can be mixed together. And when we mix them, okay, we're going to make sure that we continue to mix until the red portion and uh, the plasma layer, the albumin gel, are the same color. Okay, so you can still see that there's a little bit of differences there. So we're just going to go back and forth. And I find from experience, typically you require about 10 mixes here. And then once that's done, we remove it. You can attach to it whatever gauge needle you want to do your injections. We typically recommend 25 to 27 gauge and you're ready to go. Okay, so that's the biofiller.